LJ Smith of the Greyhound Sports Network standing alongside head coach Jeff Long. Coach, you complete your first season as the head coach of the Greyhounds. Senior day today. Talk about emotions from the seniors, from the guys today, before even before kickoff. Yeah, you know, definitely. You know, anytime it's the last guaranteed chance, you got to put the helmet on, right? I mean, that's uh, something that happens when you're, even when you're a kid, you, th you don't think about that last time. And I think a lot of emotions hit today. You know, definitely the family's there, and it's special, you know. And the 10 seniors that we honored today, they stuck it out through change and definitely could have packed it in very easily when things didn't go their way, but they played their tails off. They all bought in, the great, great kids, number one, the great young men. And uh, I am excited to see what they do moving forward. So you come out today, a very talented Wilk squad. You know what's on the line. You're playing meaningful football in November. So tell me what about that with this team? Well, I mean, we said all year, and we said back weeks ago, we had our final three games were going to be a huge test because we had big, strong weight train teams, right, that are seasoned. And ourselves, we're a young team right now that has to thrive on execution. Right? And when you make mistakes in these types of games, they get magnified, you know, and that, that's what we saw here today. They just, you know, we was a little settling in the first and then we jumped out, you know, got some stops, but then, hey, one big play on a third down. You know, the, the key today was third down. Yeah. We're one fifth for one for 14 on O, and they were about, I think, 60% on D, you right know, when we were on D. So if you can't get off the field, you know, first, second down can be great as all you want, but you can't get off the field, you can't extend drives, that's where it's going to hurt you. So that was defensive side and offense obviously struggling to get stay on the field past uh, third downs. But some things did happen, a lot of positive things that you can take into the offseason and build upon right in the next year, correct? Yeah, I think, you know, obviously Jared Jenkins had a heck of a year. Um, you know, he's emerged as a, a guy that can sling it with anybody, you know. And, Jor you know, Jordan Bingham and, you know, Brad Bryan capped off a heck of a career. Timmy Garlick, you know, Jordan Lewis emerged offensively. Nate Boyle was consistent as all get out. Replacing him will be tough. Um, you know, but offensively we've shown we can move the ball, we can challenge some people, and the biggest thing now is can we grow as leaders and can we grow in our execution because we've proven now that we can go four and six and set records. But it's going to be the different mindset of, okay, do you want to set records and go win but win titles? And um, that's where we got to grow as a team, you know, and that, that'll be from all the guys who are returning and their mindset in the offseason in the weight room and then our, ourselves as a staff getting out to recruit and finding the right guys to become Greyhounds. You, and now the defensive side of things, a lot of talent, young talent that you're able to kind of build off of moving into next year, losing some pieces as well. But obviously, defensive side of things moving forward, have to tighten. Yeah, you know, I mean, obviously, you know, we saw the we had 10 out of 11 starters against Muhlenberg, right? It was our first college football game. So to look back now, there was a lot of growth. There was a lot of shuffling around with different players, too. Like guys stepped up. You know, you had some freshmen and sophomores who were really pushed into duty when, you know, some older guys got banged up. So that was interesting to see. Um, and, and I was really proud of the, the, the finish there. You know what I mean? As the year finished up, we had some guys who were key contributors all year go down. And even in big moments, some guys like Aiden Lane stepped up, you know, Elijah Fajardo, you know. And then now, 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 though, the trick is, can you, are you going to be satisfied with playing as a young player in college or are you going to attack it you know and understand now what the expectation is and that getting by on talent alone isn't going to get you wins you know and that's the exciting part for us is that we have that young talent you know I think defensively I know we lose three guys in the back end that'll be you know that were experienced guys you know but in terms of graduating but by the end there with them nicked up we had a lot of freshmen who were going in so it's going to be an interesting mix as we move forward uh, I'm excited for it. So moving forward into the off season now, what are some key things we're going to focus on for into the spring as we prepare for next year? Number one is the weight room. You know, we're going to commit to making sure we're in there five, six days a week. And, you know, we are leaving there exhausted, sweating and, and trying to get better that next step and, and really just understanding what the measurables are for being a championship football team at the Division Three level. You know, it's not like the, the thing that we need to do and I think where our program has room to grow is stop looking at, okay, what is the, the best that like, okay, I think this is my best yeah. and set clear defined goals of no, this is what a championship team does. Whether that's metrics, you know, weight room, whether that's performance in the classroom, right? Like this is the, or the amount of time that we're putting into things, this is what it takes. And we got to continue to raise that standard and now we attack it together this off season. So that's number one and then recruiting, right? We could talk about it all the time, you know, getting on the road and we had about 35 recruits and their families here today. Some of them saying, okay, hey, there's a places I can help right away, you know, and have a shot to compete. So that's exciting. And now we got to go out there and 
get them to our beautiful campus and, and show them what we're building here and that we're not satisfied. You know, the one thing I'll, I'll say too for myself and the staff and all those guys in here, I told the young guys, I said, you're, we're going to write this down in blood. You got to have that feeling throughout the year of this off season. Now, if you're not motivated when you step into the weight room, you know, then you're in the wrong sport. So uh, it's very exciting and I'm excited for the future for Greyhound football. Greyhound football ends the season today. Inaugural season of Landmark Conference football. First season of head coach Jeff Long. Coach, thank you for your time all season and best of luck this win. Thanks, brother. Appreciate you.